Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I am very excited to come on and show you this brand new dust collection that is releasing dun, 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 tomorrow. We are very excited about the new chromes and I wanted to show you them in action. These are part of the Black Friday sale that starts tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you are unaware, we are having a Black Friday sale that starts tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And you can find all of these products at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie Beauty USA app. If you don't have the Magpie app yet, I would suggest getting it. It just offers a faster shopping experience. Uh, the pages load faster because it is in an app instead of on a website. And browsing and finding what you need is just more simple on, on the app. So just go to your app store, down, download Magpie Beauty USA. And the nice thing is, is that the website and the app, they actually talk to each other. So you, if you already have a login on the website, you can use the exact same login on the app and you'll be able to see all of your past purchases on either platform. So the app is really, really great. Uh, these are brand new. Uh, like I said, they are releasing tomorrow. And these five right here are part of the dust collection. And this is Dazzle, this incredible holographic dust. And then Vampire, which is this vampy, purpley, reddish brown. Then we have Beetle, which is so cool. And then we have Glazed, which this is a pink version of Bridie. So if you know Magpie's Bridie Chrome, I can't wait for you to see Glazed. And then, dun, dun, look at this. Oh, this, I didn't even give you the dun, 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 dun. Like, oh, it's just mesmerizing. So this is Cupid. And I'm going to show you how to apply them as a chrome and then also even going to show you how to use them for dual purposes which is to apply it as a dust in addition the brandy chrome and the kingsley chrome these are currently available in the compact version the pressed uh, pressed compact chrome version and now they're being released loose so you will be able to have your preference if you are somebody who likes a loose chrome then these are now available starting tomorrow so what I'm going to do is clear the decks and I do have to, we're going to just chrome each one of these. I'm going to show you the full chroming technique from Magpie on one of them. And then the other ones we can just um, move right along knowing that that's the same technique for all of them. So we are going to start with Magpie's Top It Off. This is our no wipe top coat, which is perfect for chrome. All of Magpie's gels are a 60 second cure, so you want to make sure that you are giving it a full cure. You also want to be making sure that you are using a lamp that can cure 100% gel. All of Magpie's products are 100% gel, they are not solvent based. So we need to make, be making sure that we are using the proper lamp. So I'm gonna just put on a thin layer of Top It Off. Today I'm using the color Clara's Mud, which is one of our gel polish colors. And I think I'm going to show you using Beetle. I'm gonna walk you through the entire chroming process using Beetle. So I'm just going to put this in for a full 60 second cure. Now, the biggest thing about chrome is that you need to make sure that your top coat is fully cured. So when your client goes in the lamp, you don't want them to go in halfway. You want them to go in all the way, all of the fingers. Clearly not too far, but just all the way into the lamp. Usually there are finger guides. You want their hand in properly for the full amount of time that is required for your no wipe top coat to be cured. So in this case, we're using top it off. So you wanna be in for a full 60 seconds. And then once that comes out, I am going to be using my finger, which let's show you this chrome. Ooh, gorgeous. That's yummy. All right, so I'm gonna be just using my finger, my glove. You can use a silicone tool, like our Magpie silicone tool, or you can use the chrome tool, which I don't have at my desk right this moment, but I actually generally prefer to use the chroming tool instead of the silicone tool or my finger. But in this case, I'm going to use my finger. So now our top it off is fully cured. And before it cools off, we want to rub on our chrome. 
Now we don't need a lot of pressure. I'm not pushing. I'm just rubbing the chrome. What? Okay. I'm just rubbing the chrome on top, just gently. We don't need to be pressing down. We just want for that top coat to absorb the chrome. Whoa, my gosh. Okay, that's fabulous in every way. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do is make sure that I remove all of the dust because what you don't want is for your chrome to be pixely. If you've ever experienced that, if it, when you go to put on the next layer of gel that it becomes kind of like glittery, sometimes it is because you are leaving behind even one speck of chrome and that's just not where the goodness lies. So we wanna make sure that we remove all of that. The next step is that you want to just gently file the free edge. We're not being crazy. And then again, remove all of the dust. Then we're gonna go in with a layer of Give Me Strength. And this is just a layer of our strengthening gel. And the most important thing we wanna do is cap that free edge. So we just need a thin layer of gel, not too thin that we are dragging the chrome, but not a thick layer because we don't need thick nails in the end. So just a lovely thin layer and make sure you cap that free edge. And then I'm gonna put this in for a full 60 second cure. And then the last step is to finish it off with a layer of Top It Off. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that Top It Off likes itself. So if, when we use Top It Off for Chrome, we need this to be our finishing top coat. It's just gonna make your life so much easier. It works well with itself and I just don't have anything else to say about it. Top It Off loves itself, so make sure you're using Top It Off as your top coat when you are done. Okay, so I'm not going to finish off the beetle with Top It Off because we all know that at this point we just put on our top coat. Instead, what I'm gonna do is prepare our next swatch stick with a layer of Top It Off. Again, this was Clara's Mud, and this is what I'm gonna put Vampire over. Beautiful. Actually, I think I'm going to put Kingsley over, or maybe even Brandy. We'll see what I feel like in a second. Okay, so this came out of the lamp. This has our Give Me Strength, and well, even though I said I wasn't going to, I will finish it off. So this is where you would put on your finishing layer of top coat, and then you have this stunning chrome finish. Beetle for the win. All right, I think I am going to put, hmm, maybe Brandy or Kingsley, and I'll save Vampire. Hmm, I'll put Vampire over black, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go with Brandy over top of this Clara's Mud. If while I'm showing you all of these chromes, if you have any questions regarding Magpie products, please just shout it out. I'm happy to discuss or help or even troubleshoot anything that you need regarding Magpie. So here is our finished Top It Off. And then Brandy is just this deep dark chocolate brown chrome. And yummy, it's just so yummy. This is dark enough that really you could put this over any color of brown and you're gonna get this beautiful chocolate color. Gorgeous. Now again, at this point, you would go in and you would file the free edge and then you would remove all of your dust. Then you would cap it with a layer of Give Me Strength, give it a 60 second cure and finish it off with a layer of Top It Off and that will give you a no chipping chrome manicure. But for now, I'm just gonna move us along and go on to the next chrome. Beautiful, beautiful chrome. Okay, so we're done with Brandy. Next, let's do, let's do Kingsley while we're at it. So we're gonna put Kingsley over black. This is Black Betty from Magpie. This is just one coat of Black Betty. 
So it really is just a beautiful deep dark black gel polish. And we are going to apply Kingsley over it. Now what I like to do is when I put on my top it off, I like to give it just five to 10 seconds just to settle so that I make sure that I'm going in with a beautiful line of light. You could turn your client's hand over, just allow that top, of, that top coat to settle and make sure that everything is beautiful before you go into the lamp. Somebody's wondering any Black Friday deals. Yes, so the entire website starting tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, that's Utah time. I don't know where in the country you are, but we are having a 20% off site wide. So this is a perfect time to try some new chromes like what I'm showing you tonight. These are actually brand new and are releasing tomorrow night with the sale. So it's perfect timing. I'm glad you're here. Now, for the sake of showing you all of the different options. I think maybe Kingsley, I will show you how to apply with a silicone tool. So what you do is with your, you can use either end of your silicone tool, but you don't need a lot. Like this is actually a ton of chrome, but it kind of just adhered itself. Thank you. The biggest thing that you want to remember when applying chrome is that you don't need a lot of pressure. We don't wanna scratch the chrome into the um, surface. And I never use a silicone tool, so this is funny. I always use a chrome tool, so this is different for me. But you can see Kingsley is definitely a vibrant, deeper gold. It does have a yellow tone to it it's definitely a golden gold, if I had to try to explain what color gold it is. That would be very good for New Year's. Yes. Very I think, rich. I think this uh, Dazzle will be the same thing. Yeah, I can't very wait to clear. see Dazzle. But you can see, like, I'm not even really pressing very hard. And it is just absorbing nicely into there. What I'm going to do is just rub gently with my glove over top. Make sure that I get all of the edges. And then I'm gonna remove all of the excess. Beautiful. That is beautiful. And again, this is where you go through and you would file the free edge, go over it with a layer of Give Me Strength, making sure to cap that free edge, and then give that a 60 second cure, followed by a layer of Top It Off. All right, next up in our chrome lineup tonight, let's do Vampire. I know a lot of people are excited about this one. This one is, let me make sure I get off all that gold before I show you this. This one is deep and rich and purpley and reddish and brown, all of the colors, and hopefully you can see that. I can't wait to see it chromed. We're gonna put this over a layer of Black Betty Let's see, Body and Main said, wow, so shiny. And then Tammy Miller said, yes, vampire. Yes, vampire. Deep and rich and moody. So again, a layer of Top It Off. And this one, I'm going to actually show you with the Chrome tool. My assistant, Sheridan, who helps at the warehouse, she was sitting next to me and she brought over my handy dandy Chrome tool. So now that everything is settled and how I want it, I'm gonna go in for a full 60 second cure. And then with Vampire, what we wanna do, we don't need a ton, and unfortunately this is on black, so you are not going to be able to see how much I have on here very well. Hopefully you'll be able to see some. But just a little bit goes a long way. And when using the Chrome tool, one thing I know for sure is that you wanna use less pressure. So we don't need to be scrubbing really, really hard. We need to use light pressure. So I usually hold the handle down here and then I just gently rub that onto the top it off. Okay, so we got a couple questions. Yes, Nikki please. Hodson. Hi Nikki, uh, how are you? I'm sorry if you've answered this already, but will, you, will this live be saved? Yes, it will. Uh, also, Nails by Des, uh, Desiree. 
Hi, Desiree. Uh, I'm new at this Chrome. I'm sorry. What is the base again so I can order it? Oh, excellent. I'm happy to walk you through. Are you asking what the base color is? The base color that I'm using? Um, I'm just going to wait for you to answer that part. Okay, so using our Chrome tool, I'm going to use really light pressure. And I'm just going to start rubbing. Can you hear that? Probably not. Has like a little bit of squeak. That was a good cure in there. But we don't need a ton of pressure. I'm just gently rubbing. It's just ever so slightly like a like a glass. Like how you, yep. like a, when a you clean glass. On a glass. <gasps> you know what? This is holographic. Is it holographic or was there holographic inside of this? Is this holographic? I'm going to have to try that again. I'm going to have... Mr. Magpie make me a new Black Betty. So I used, in case you were wondering what gel polish, this is Black Betty. And he is going to make me a new swatch because now I am really fascinated to know if it is holographic or if I had hollow chrome inside of the, of the chrome tool. So I do need to know, but if it was hollow, that's pretty. Mm. But the you can see the purpley reddish brown chrome very very pretty again i'm going to walk you through on every single one this is where you go through and finish file the free edge and then you would remove all of the dust go in with a layer of give me strength clear make sure you cap that free edge and then finish it off with a layer of the top it off top it off is the no wipe top coat and you want to make sure to cap that free edge that's really going to protect your chrome and make it last Ooh, I'm excited to know. Okay, very exciting. All right, while he is, thank you, while this is curing, I'm going to start preparing my next swatch stick. Let's see, uh, your nail girl, Lilia, said you're kidding, so pretty. So pretty. Uh, Tammy Miller, it's gorgeous. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name, Danny. Uh, did you just make a new That's... color chrome Sarah? Sorry. Danny Ponto, Danny Pontio, yeah. Danny Pontiex. Sorry. <laughs> Our good friend. Uh, Krisha, Chick, Chicksha. That's beautiful. Um, Danny, I'll, let's see. I'll be I, so excited. If me it is too. All of a sudden, I'm like I curious. I need to Christians. know. It looks in the chrome <gasps> it did because i don't remember using this for a hollow chrome anytime recently so now i'm really fascinated what's the name on that chrome Chips now we are Woodshop. this one is called vampire the one that is this purpley brown has a bit of red in it as well and we are going to try one more and since we're all invested i'm just going to hold us here before i do the last three the last three are very exciting so this is just a layer of top it off Again, this is our no wipe top coat. And you wanna give it just five, 10 seconds just to let it settle. Remember, chrome is going to show every dip, bump, valley. So if your top coat is not smooth, then unfortunately your chrome is really gonna have some lumps and bumps that get shown. So make sure that you have a smooth, as smooth a surface as you can create with your top coat. Uh, RK Hunter 11. Can Magpie Glitter Top Coats be used for chrome as well? Yes, they can, as long as it's the top it off. So it has to be a no wipe top coat if you're wanting to use chrome. But if you have the hollow, if you have the pink, if you have the gold, yes, those can also be used for chrome. And if you wanted to up the ante on any of these, say you wanted Kingsley to have a beautiful glittery glitz to it, you could use the gold glitz over top of it. And that's gonna give you dual layer of sparkle. So yes, top it off in any of its finishes can be used as your finishing top coat. All right, it's almost done and then we're going to find out if Vampire is... the moment of truth. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. we're Thank so excited. So cool. See, I, I don't know. You guys are excited about this one, but I'm excited I think about it is it. I think it's holographic. <gasps> oh, what? I think... Yeah, okay, yeah. here we go. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah, we go. Yeah. Here we hurry go. Hurry up. I need to get a Cupid here. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. Guys, is that yeah. hollow or was it in my thing? <gasps> I don't know. Hold on. I feel like it was in my thing. 
the last thing you used was Orla. Oh, so then that was hollow. Darn. Nope, it's not holographic. But it it's is beautiful. Oh, it's, you want a little holographic through a little Orla. Yep, just use your chrome <laughs> tool in something that's hollow first. And then go in. And then you'll have a mixture. But that is very, very pretty. Red, brown, purple. Gorgeous. Okay. Moving on. We are going to do... Do we do... Okay. I. It's the last three. And these ones I'm really, really excited about. So I have Dazzle, Glazed, and Cupid left. And then I wanted to show Cupid also used as a dust. So let's start with Cupid and then we will end with Cupid. So Cupid, I'm going to be putting over a layer of Magpie Come What May. This is a single layer of Come What May, so it is going to be that semi-sheer. You could always put a color behind it. It doesn't have to be semi-sheer. I just wanted to be able to see the color of the chrome rather than the color behind it. I'm gonna put on a layer of, top it off and give it a full 60 second cure. Tammy wanted you to do Dazzle. Uh, Tammy Miller said it's still, it's still gorgeous. Um, polished, so pretty. OMG, I caught your live. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks everybody. I love when everybody joins the lives. Okay, so next up we're gonna do Cupid and then we will do Dazzle. Ooh, I can't wait. And then we'll do glazed, and then we're going to finish out with Cupid, but used as a dust. So that's going to be our lineup to finish out our live. Danny says it's all good. Save the best for last. Oh, I can't wait. All right, then we'll do glazed next. Okay, so Cupid is going to be more like a flake. Can you see how it's a little bit chunkier? So this is going to give you more, ooh, that is, mm, 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 really, really pretty. But this is not going to be that incredibly smooth chrome. It's going to have a little bit of texture to it. So our beetle, that was like that really smooth chrome, you're gonna see a little bit of a different effect when using Cupid. I don't know where you're doing this. You are nail good girl, Aliyah. I'm excited for glaze because the, this glazed nail look is killing me. I always feel the white chrome washes out the look rather than the glazed look. Yep, yep. I'm excited for it too. So this is Cupid. And can you see that it's just a little bit, it's like a flake that you're using as a chrome. So you get kind of two effects in one. Super, super pretty. I am excited also to see this one as a, ooh, I love the red in it. I just wanna keep putting on more because I like that. Okay, it didn't really need more. I just wanted to see what would happen. Um, I'm really excited to see this one just as a dust. So again, if I was using this as a chrome, now I would go through and I would finish file just gently. We aren't crazy. We just want to give this something to where when we sandwich a a powder in between two gels that it stays. Then you would wipe off the dust, put on a layer of Give Me Strength, make sure you cap the free edge, give it a 60 second cure, and then go in with a layer of Top It Off, cap the free edge, and give it a 60 second cure, and then you'd be done. Beautiful. Okay, next up, we're gonna do Glazed, and then we'll do Dazzle. See, I almost feel like Cupid. I don't feel it did justice on that light color. Yeah, that's why I wanted to put it over yeah. the purple so that yeah. we could see it in its many forms. Yeah. This has pink and purple and blue in it. Really, it could be used it on so really many colors. And like you said, you can definitely tell that it's a flake. Yes. And not the fine, fine powder, mm -hmm. much like this dazzle, where it's just that fine, fine. Yep, it's gonna give you just a different effect. Yeah. So this is again, come what may, this is just one layer, so it's gonna give you that sheer color. And then I'm putting on my top it off, giving that five to 10 seconds to just settle so that I get the smoothest surface that I possibly can. Uh, Yvonne says gorgeous. And Tammy Miller says, oh, pretty. Danny, interesting, it's still gorgeous. Yeah, it's a different kind of effect than the traditional chrome effect that we're used to. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so glazed is like a pink version of brighty. So brighty is very, very popular. Wow, that was crazy Can you see to that? see. Uh-huh. It was blue on her finger. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> that was weird. It was, it was blue on her finger, and then all of a sudden it's pink. I'm like, wait, what? That's weird. Love a chameleon moment. <laughs> uh, Polish so pretty. Yes, there is going to be Black Friday sales. You want to yes. Black yes, Friday? the Black Friday sale starts tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time, we're in Utah. So wherever you are in the country, just know we are in Utah. So it starts at 6 p.m. our time. And it goes through all the way until next Monday. It is 20% off site wide, including these brand new chromes. So that is very exciting. Uh, Tammy Miller says, I feel like Jim and my husband could have long conversations right? about nothing. Yes. <laughs> no kidding. He should, well, I was going to say he should come to the expo, but normally I don't have time to talk to people. <laughs> He's been there before. We've met him many times. So glazed oops is just not oops. Ooh is exactly what I was expecting it to be. This incredible nice. blue pink iridescent has definitely a pink sheen to it. So it's going to give you that pink glazed look instead of the silvery glazed look that Bridie gives. See, here's, here's the bad thing about this. It is like it's Jack, fun. except it in is. a chrome, which yes. Jack, I love it's Jack. <gasps> here's the bad thing about this. Doing this, it makes me want to go, okay, now let's get a black. Okay, right. Let's, get a blue. let's do it okay, over every over color. Yeah. Yes. What would it look like over this? Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love that so much. That is. I do like that one. That one All right. Nice. Next up, we are doing Dazzle. Dazzle. Bring it on. Bring it on. Can't wait to see it. Danny says Jack is one of my favorite flakes. Jack is one of my favorite flakes, too. Danny, we could be the best of friends. You should come hang out with us. <laughs> Tammy will be there. We can all just be pals. All right, so putting on, uh, this is Ice Lolly. I love this color. So I felt like we needed something bright. What's this Dazzle? Yep, to put behind Dazzle. Now Dazzle is going to have a full coverage effect. So the pink is just going to be a background color. So I wanted something really punchy. So Ice Lolly was it today. So giving that five to 10 seconds just to settle so that we get the smoothest surface that we possibly can. And then, and that goes for a full 60 second cure. And then, let's see Dazzle. See, I could be wrong, but this, this makes me think of Dottie, the glitter. Yeah. But Ooh, as a... Ooh, yes. Crow. Who is excited about that? Babe, no, I'm still excited babe. about Ooh, I'm still excited about Cupid. I'm excited <laughs> about this. Look at that. Let's see. Uh, Tammy Miller says, I want to try them over every color. Over every um, color. Nails by Desert, Desiree. Uh, I love the pink. Isn't the pink so pretty? That's yeah. glazed. The beautiful glazed chrome is going to give you that gorgeous pink glazed look. Razzle dazzle, baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's there's one of the colors, and anytime I yeah, touch it, it's she, dazzle. I have to say razzle dazzle. Yeah. She's knowing. She's knowing <laughs> Jim's <laughs> lingo. That's right. Just but, don't hey, let it in. You you have to know the I movie love it. though to understand. Don't it. let it in. I love it. Because what's his name? Dan Aykroyd, isn't it? That is hilarious. All right, so yeah. just using our dazzle chrome. This one is more like a flake as well, just like Cupid. So it's not going to be that. Um, crazy uh, smooth chrome look, but it is going to give you this amazing mm -hmm. holographic chrome effect. Now, fun fact for those of you who might be new to the chrome world is that when you use a holographic chrome, you do not ever want to use a silicone tool. This will actually scratch your chrome and then you'll have issues. You'll have to kind of start over. You can use a chrome tool, absolutely. And then with whatever residual you have, next time do vampire and then you'll have a holographic vampire like what we created earlier. It'll be a win-win. Okay, let's see, we got some stuff here. Uh, Danny says, oh boy, can't wait. Mr. PP really knows his magpie, I'm impressed. <laughs> yes, um, he does. RK Hunter, I wish they could or would come out with gold like that. Um, I can definitely put in the request, absolutely. Definitely. 
Um, the nice thing is, is that Magpie always listens to their customers and they definitely do their very best to provide what the customers are wanting. So if you ever have a suggestion, just send it our way and we'll send it up the pipeline. Yeah. What are the top five colors for those starting with Magpie glitters and chrome? Ooh, Ooh. that's a hard one. Well, I, and, and that's polished. Dazzle. So cool. <laughs> there, there's a lot in there. Um, I, I normally, when, when we do an expo, I normally start with Nivea, Alaska, um, for glitters, those two. But th- there's whites that you got to have. There's a lot of colors. Absolutely. And, and chromes, Pandora. Oh, you, you, I think Pandora is a must. That's a yes. must. But there's, there's lots. And you, you got to remember, these are going to last you a very long time. One thing I did forget to tell you is that, again, I just want to walk you through on every process. At this point, what you would do is go through and give a quick finish file, just a gentle one to the free edge. Remove all of your dust. Go in with a layer of Give Me Strength. Make sure you cap that free edge. Cure it for 60 seconds. And then your finishing top coat is top it off. Make sure you cap that free edge and give it a full 60 second cure. And you'll have this incredible holographic chrome. Uh, Tammy Miller says, definitely need Amelia. Oh, Amelia is one of our top sellers, um, yes. Let's see. Uh, the Nail Spot Columbus, is that a new hollow? Yes, it's actually new and just, go, it's a releasing tomorrow night. Yeah. So this is part of the new dust collection and it will be part of the sale that starts tomorrow night at 6 p.m. They will be available on the website starting at 5 p.m. just so that those of you who are building your wish list or things like that would be able to make sure you check these off your list. But the sale does start at 6 p.m. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to show you before we say goodnight is that when we are using chromes, they can be used for a multiple different things, like glazed, with how fine it is, would make a beautiful paint. You're just gonna put a little bit in with some base coat, like get a grip, or you could put it in with a top coat, like like a diamond, and then you could create lines, or you could create just beautiful effects over a color of your nail art, things like that. When you have something that's a more of a flake like this, or like dazzle, then I would suggest also trying to use them as a dust. Now this, these, Chromes and dust are going to last you a very long time. This is going to be so pretty as a fade. Or if you wanted, you could do it as an all over color. And because this one has blue and purple and pink, you could put it over a plethora of colors and just get a different effect. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, because I use this as a dust, what you would do is you would remove any of the excess dust from the sidewalls, make sure everything is laying down nicely, and then you could go right in with a finishing top coat, like top it off or like like a diamond. So since this is something that's new and we haven't done it before, I am going to finish this one off so you can see the full effect. Why are you doing that? Uh, Danny said, An- Anon? Anona? What is it? Anona. Anona. Ooh, Anona is a good and one. And Ruth uh, crumbs a lot. Yes. Danny also said, wow, she's pretty. Um, I-, I think another great one is uh, a color that you loved for the longest time. Was it Bloom and Clover? Those are flakes, and those are flakes. chameleon flakes. They are mm. so pretty. They're a lot like Cupid, where it has this multiple color range in it and can be over so many different colors. Uh, and then the, there was that other collection that was the very bright one, Zoe. Oh, what was it? Those are pigments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, the neon know. pigments. The I neon pigments are very, popular, um, very popular. You could also go for the baby pigment if you're wanting to do any of the aura nails that are going around. Um, Bridey Chrome is, in my opinion, a must have. Moonlight is fantastic. There are just so many good products and I know that doesn't make it easy for you, but we do offer a lot of tutorials and a lot of um, how-tos and things like that. So just check out our page, scroll down, follow some of the people who use Magpie and you can really just go down a rabbit hole in the next 24 hours and they will point you toward some really awesome, awesome products. Again, these are part of the 
new dust collection that releases tomorrow night. This one and this one, this one's called Kingsley, this gold. And then this one is called Brandy. It's a, it's a dark chocolate brown. These two are not part of the dust collection, but Beetle, which is absolutely gorgeous, and Vampire, which is stunning. Then we have Cupid over a sheer base, Glazed over a sheer base, Dazzle over a pink base, and then Cupid over a purple base used as a dust. So there are lots of different options here, and I hope that I was able to teach you something tonight. I'm so glad you all joined, and I hope you're looking forward to the sale that starts tomorrow night. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. We're always happy to help. When you go onto the website, you can also contact any of our educators that are on the educator page, and they will help lead you in the right direction as well. So until next time, have a wonderful weekend. And enjoy the holiday with everyone who loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.